Hello Archery Dudes and Dudettes. Uh, Chris here from uh, CJ Leathers. Uh, as you're probably aware, um, my pocket quivers have been causing quite a stir uh, with the field archers because of its ease of use, lightness, and you know, they look nice and they work well. Um, <coughs> but I've had quite a few requests of uh, archers from the UK, not just, you know, it's not just for the UK archers obviously, but in the UK we do a lot of NFAS uh, archery, field archery, which um, you shoot a maximum of three arrows per target. So I've been asked if I could make a, a belt quiver uh, that holds three arrows in two separate uh, compounds, a total of six arrows, three three arrows for your main shooting and three arrows for spares. So I've come up with this uh, belt quiver. It's slightly bigger than the original pocket quiver, as you can see. The pocket quiver is, this one, is around about 120 mil by 160 for the actual arrow compartment. And the uh, the new belt quiver is 140 mil by 190 in this case. And the idea of this is, as I've said, is to hold three arrows per side. When I say per side, it's got stitching in the middle there, so you've got two separate compartments. Which I think is a nice idea. Um, I've only tried this on, on my uh, driveway and it works an absolute treat. But uh, when the weather, when it stops raining, I'm going to get out in the woods and give it a proper a proper go. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably do a little video on it as well. Um, but as it is now, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, it attaches onto the belt with that. Three, I put three poppers on. So you definitely don't want this coming off as you're shooting or getting your arrows out. So just to be double certain, I put three heavy duty poppers on. It's all top quality stuff again. Three, two millimeter vegetable tan, vegetable tan, tan leather with a uh, stain and polished. Uh, last a lifetime. It really will. Price wise. Um, a plain one like this, you, you'd be looking in the region of 35 to 40 pounds plus your delivery. I'm not out to make heaps of money doing this. I'm, I'm, I enjoy doing it. Leatherwork is my hobby. And I'm, I like to help other archers out because I think there's a lot of rubbish out there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else there is to say about this apart from I'm very happy with it. Um, obviously, if you do want one of these in order, you'd have to l let me know what your preference for arrow is. Because this, I've made this one for my aluminiums, which are 5 16th shafts. And when you put three in, it's nice and snug. So if it was 1132 timbers, it'd be a bit, a bit too snug. So I would make it, you know, four mil, say, wider per section. To accommodate that. So, as I say, if you do want one, you know, just tell me what type of arrows you prefer it for. Obviously, if you make it bigger for the 1132, so it'll take any size arrow, but the smaller diameters, if you've got little fine carbons, for example, it might be a little bit floppy in the pockets. Not, not too bad at all, but I like it nice and snug. And it sounds like quite a few other, few other people do. So, um, yeah, I'll put some pictures up on um, my Facebook uh, group for you to have close looks at. Uh, and any questions, just, just contact me by all means. Okay, thank you very much. Pop -pop.